thank you, thank you. All right, welcome to America's Got Talent, the spinoff. And by spinoff, we all know I mean ripoff. So let's, with that, let's start the show. Please welcome our first contestants, the Moxias. And I think I said that correctly because they're coming out right now. Um, hi, what are your names? Hi, I'm Sia. And I'm Maddie Ziegler. Um, uh, what will you be doing for us today? I'll be singing Chandelier's. And I'll be dancing right in front of her. Um, yeah. okay, uh, is the snorting necessary? Yes, it is. I was born with it, and you're saying no? Well, you should know I, I'm not my own person, so let me be free. Um, okay, uh, best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Sing. I'm sorry, you are just terrible at singing. Your style is awful. I don't even know what, where did the dancer go? I don't even know. She was terrible. She does not know how to dance. You two are a terrible group and you weren't even singing. Why do you think it was okay to sing? I'm sorry. I. I did not mean for that to happen. Uh, cut, please stop filming. This is terrible. She broke my buzzer. Welcome back to the Fruity Channel, where we talk about fruits. We love to rhyme all the time. It's not a crime. Today we will be playing fruit charades. Hooray! I will now introduce two special guests who will be playing our fun fruit game of the day. Please welcome Cassandra and Chloe. Oh my gosh! Hi, I'm Cassandra. It's such an honor to be here. Let me introduce myself. I love blueberries, and I've seen your show so many times. It's like the best show ever. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Chloe, and I'm a strawberry enthusiast. The com combination of tart flavor and sweet flavor mixing is the best thing in the whole wide world. Okay. Strawberries are better. No, blueberries are better. I have prepared a bowl which contains number of names of fruits. You must describe the name of the fruit without using the words that are most common to describe it. Okay, let's start. I will start. Okay. This fruit is also like a lime. Lemon. Okay. Do you guys like lemons? Yeah. Lemons are okay. Yeah. I like lemons. I like and all water. fruits. I like lemons in water sometimes. Yeah. They detox your body. Oh my gosh. Makes your body healthy. Okay. This is the same color of a lemon. It's very tall and skinny. And it and it is a banana? Yes. Oh Good my gosh. job. 
Bananas are slimy. He's so good at this. Yeah. But they're also, they're yummy. Of course, I got this one. This one is um, kind of gross to me. Honestly, it's not that great. Blueberries. <laughs> Excuse me? I love blueberries. Um, it's the color of the sunset sometimes. Strawberries? Oh, you got it. I hate strawberries. Like, they're okay, but they're not that great. Strawberries are so good. I can't believe you said that. Let's no, blueberries are the best. I'm so sorry, but it's the truth. Strawberries are better. Now, blueberries. Awesome. Okay. This one is from... Italy. What? And it might be considered as a vegetable. Tomatoes? No. Tomatoes are from Italy? Yeah. They are? They are? What? You didn't know that? No. Wow, you guys need to educate yourselves. Well, we Basically. are educated on our favorite foods. This is very flavorful. And, oh, it's used to make wine. Grapes. Yes. Tomatoes? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I guess we don't know food. Um, I think we should kick her out of the fruit channel. Okay. Why? Because I love blueberries and I know they're the best. She no. likes strawberries. They're gross. Okay, anyways, just go on. Um, this one is described as the king of fruits durian you're right how did you know it's an <laughs> I know actual my fruit. real fruit it's very stinky kind of. okay we will do our last two and then we'll conclude this one is the same color as chloe's shirt cherries good job okay this is will be our last one cherries also make my head hurt how do they make your head hurt? They're, They're too so flavorful. Good. And like too flavorful. When can yeah. anything be too flavorful? Everything. How? Yes. Everything's too flavorful for you. Okay. Okay. Um. Skip. Okay. Well, that is all for today. <laughs> Stay tuned for our next week's fun fruit of the get of the day. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. And me. Blueberries are always the best. Starbucks, what can I do for you? Hi, can I have a tall mango dragon fruit, less dragon fruit, more mango, two ice cubes, one shot, more coconut milk, less almond milk? Can I have a hot chocolate, please? Okay. Uh, what, what is your name? Nicolette. And Brent. Okay. For Brent? Thank you. For Nicolette. Thank you. You got it wrong. Can you do it again with 50% sweetness? Okay. Here's your drink, Nicolette. Thank you. I have this $10 bill and I'm going to keep it in this middle cup 
If you choose the right cup, you can keep what's inside of it. And keep your eye on the cup. Do you see the $500 in the other cup? No, I chose, I chose these I chose these cups. Can I get... Don't play games with this guy. Welcome back to AGT Spinoff Recap. I'm Ruby, and today I'll be interviewing two special guests who received the golden buzzer. Hi. Hi. Today I will be asking you some questions about your performance. Okay. What, what was going through your mind when you cheated to get the golden buzzer? You did not cheat. Well, you did, because I didn't hit the button myself. Yeah, you did. It was your hand. Why do I have to play here? I... Come on, we're late for a nail salon appointment. Let's hang on. Sia, you were lip syncing, so what made you think that that was okay? Actually, I wasn't. It's been before the performance. Um, my brother, he, um, he stepped on my potato, and my potato died, so I screamed at him. And it was really sad, and I used almost all my voice, and I only had a little singing voice left. So when it was singing time, I was singing, and then since I used my voice so much, uh, I couldn't sing, so I was silent. And then when I could have my voice back, it was cracky because my voice just came back. Mm. So I hope you understand. And my potato okay. is gone. Okay, get me what made more. you, knowing that you had this big performance coming up, feel the need to scream at your brother? Well. I need to scream at him because he killed my potato and, and I found the potato at a, at a shelter, the potato shelter. And he was really cute and he hasn't been picked by any people. So I got him and then my brother stepped on him that injured him. So I yelled at him and he goes in time out. Um, <laughs> okay, well you, Maddie, said that you earned nine national titles. Could you tell me what some of them were? Miss Starbound of 2008. I'm sorry. Can you stop, please? I'm asking her a question. You're making it okay. very difficult for okay. us to hear. Right. I'm sorry. Um, something from the desert. And I I'm can't sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I asked you to stop. Can you stop doing that? For the potato gods! No, 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 no. No, no. Sorry, you may continue. Um, and you can't name all of them because I've earned four, or like 50 of them. And if you watch Dance Moms, then you will know. Well, what was your favorite dance to do that you earned a title with? Cry, the Maddie face. You know uh, that? Okay. Well, anyway, uh, you said your nail appointment was at 10:30, right? Uh, yeah. 
Well, it's that time, so you might want to go. Oh, goodness. And by the way, you need to get your nails done. Yeah. You should come too. It looks really bad. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, you oh, forgot your pants. Oh, I'm having a heart attack. Oh, oh, here's my medicine. Goodbye. Bye. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that you had to experience that. That's the end of our interview, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye. Welcome to IRO News. Today, Oma will be here for the weathercast. Right now, it is 64 degrees Fahrenheit outside, with a high of 74 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you, Omar, for the weather. Now for the breaking news. The crusty, dusty dinosaur has attacked LA. Roshan is here for more info. The crusty, dusty dinosaur has destroyed the Hollywood sign, and celebrities are screaming in horror. Here is Iris and LA right now. Thank you, Omer. As you can see, the Hollywood sign is no more. That's all the time, people. Thank you for listening. Welcome to the CBC News Station. I'm Chloe. I'm Cassandra, and this is our special fruit scientist, Varsha. You may know me from my TV channel, where I teach people about fruits. We have breaking news coming from New York City, saying that a mega-sized durian has landed on top of the Empire State Building. Now, Varsha, what is a durian? Well, a durian is a yellow, stinky fruit which originates from Thailand. Did you know the durian is also known as a king of fruits? This large fruit's odor must smell so bad that the whole city had to evacuate immediately. I agree. I once smelled a durian and I almost fainted. A similar event occurred once in Swallow Falls, where different foods fell from the sky for months. This was called cloudy with a chance of meatballs. There will be an update later on about how NIC will recover from this tragic event. This was Chloe, Cassandra, and Varsha. Thank you for watching CBC News. Hello guys, I'm Genevieve. Thank you. And today we're doing ASMR. And we like potato turkeys and potato peacocks. So if you like them too, we like you. So we're going to start ASMR.
should my evil plan be? Aha! I've got it. Minion? Yes! I would like to set a fire on the th to the sun. I need a rocket with a giant flamethrower attached to it as soon as possible. Um... Am I not clear? How hard is it to get a rocket with a flamethrower? That's not a problem. Then what is the problem? The sun is literally a ball of fire. It's impossible to set a fire on it because it's already a fire. Isn't it a ball of light? The light comes from the fire. Uh... Now I need a new plan. Hmm. Ooh. How about destroying Saturn's ring? How exactly is that evil? Destruction is evil, obviously. Well, people will be upset, but they'll think that you're a madman instead of being evil. Well, how do I get people to think I'm evil? It directly affects humans. Directly affects humans. I've got it. I'll destroy California's water supply. That's more like it. Oh, speaking of water, I'm thirsty. Could you get me some? Sure thing. Finally, a good plan. That took a while. Where's my water? Bad news. Someone else already destroyed the California water supply. Really? Now that's just great.
Thank you, we're done. We're done.